from Melody Crochet and we are going to be doing a little live review. I am celebrating Earth Day with some sustainable yarn. I just picked it up. This is, I'll put it in the thing. I kind of had to peek at it a little bit. So pretend this is still wrapped around, okay? But this is Lion Brand's Just Hemp. It's super, super rough looking, which is kind of the appeal, I think, because, you know, they have the soft cotton from Lion Brand. They have the earthier recycled yarn from Lion Brand and they have the really silky bamboo for the sustainables and now they have the hemp which it's always a little rough theoretically other brands have their hemp yarn kind of softened up with washing and I'm curious if that's going to be a thing let's see here I'm trying to hop on my husband's account to moderate no idea how to do that under my own account so hello Maybe a refresh. There we are. Okay. There we are. Okay. So give me a hello if you can hear me. Let me know how my sound is back here. And let's get started, shall we? Now, let me know if you guys have used this yarn for anything. If you have any, like, things that you've made out of it, if you've just picked some up, if you saw it and had opinions, and let me know what you like as far as natural brands. It's 100% hemp, so you don't get a ton of it. It is three and a half ounces, which is 100 grams of bulky weight yarn, 93 yards, and I'm pretty excited. The color I got is silver argyle, which I looked it up, and it's kind of a clay situation going on. I need tea. I'm having some Earl Grey with almond milk. Oh my gosh. You guys are saving me. My husband is making me nervous today because it is that time of year where you have to clear the land around your house. So he's busted out the chainsaw. He literally has a chainsaw suit. I'm just like, okay, <laughs> I'm going to go play with yarn. <laughs> But as it were, here we are. Hopefully you guys have had a chance to see this. I got mine over at Joann's and I'm just really excited to try it out. So the ball band, good structure. I gotta admit, I like a ball band that has, how do you say? Oh, hey, Taylor, I didn't see you say hello. How's it going? Um, I like a ball band with structure like this, but I also like, am I the only one that likes a pattern inside the ball band? I just, do you like that yarn? Have you tried it, Judy? Nice to meet you. But yeah, I'm pretty excited. And you know, Earth Day, go with the sustainable brand for the day. I'm just gonna be making a quickie dishcloth. I'm glad, Taylor, good, good. It suggests a K-hook, and I'm gonna try it. I'm just using my old bow, boy, boy. <laughs> bow oh i could rename this one bow that'd be awesome but just my plain one I, whenever i have a yarn for the first time and i try and use it i like to use a regular hook and just see how it actually behaves it's already coming apart it's a pc it feels like twine i'm gonna be honest this is it's rough but usually hemp softens up with you so it's cool i'm gonna go ahead and make a slip knot everybody starts their granny squares awesome medium weight is the way to go this is bulky but honestly I got this yesterday too it's super pretty um this is impeccable it's medium weight size four and I don't know about you I I have this out for this exact person this is why I brought this out it looks real similar to me I mean maybe this would compress down a good deal more than this and in the end or maybe this will bloom after you make something with it so it's considered bigger but it's not very big it's not very bulky, <laughs> but I'm going to be starting a granny square. The colors of this, me too. I wish this came in colors like this, but I guess that would kind of ruin their nature facade, right? These are all really muted. The hemp came in, there was like a mustard and like an orangier than mustard and natural and the natural looked a lot like the mustard. Then there was this, which I have a lot of gray in the house, so I went with the silver. And I think there might have been a super muted, really natural looking teal. Like nothing I'm seeing in my stash. No, no. 
as you can see, I have the color palette of a five-year-old. I like the bright colors, so this is mature for me. I'm feeling super mature because I have gray yarn in my hands. But this, totally love this. Totally love this. Purple and teals. This is my happy place. I'm going to make some socks out of this. Oh, I kicked you guys. I'm sorry. But I'm going to make some socks out of this. So let's play with this and see if we like. So what I do is I make a little something out of it. Oh, hi. How's it going? I've been nice. Have you tried? I should... Can I just like put this up somewhere so everybody knows what I'm using? Because, I mean, people come through, they come and go. I hate to be vague. Odd <laughs> but nice. You were on yesterday. I went with the cubes. We are cubed. I got two of the three by fours. So it's um six feet by four feet of yarn. It's a lot of yarn wall. I'm pretty happy about it. But let's see if I put this, we'll have to get a little holder. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Uh, what would I do without you? Okay. <laughs> but it's bulky weight. I should put that in the title too. Bulky weight. You get 85, I think it's 85 yards. 93 yards, 100% hemp, and comes in about six at my Joann's, really rough colors. They were really, really neutral. So this is the coolest, most pleasant tone that I was going to be able to use. So I'm starting with a slip knot. I'm going to be making a dishcloth because it's dishcloth season for me. I'm going to chain four because this is, this is rough. Ooh, ooh. It's a little like crocheting with twine. A little bit, a little bit. I'm gonna slip into the first. I'm not gonna do my regular swatch because I would use all this yarn and wouldn't have any to make use for a dishcloth. And I don't think I'm gonna be designing with this any wearables or anything, so I don't have to worry about having a swatch in my stash. But some people do love to, it's very rough. Um, I don't know if you've used the Redo, their natural cotton that's recycled. That's a little rough. This is rougher. But hemp, even the more expensive hemp, is always a little rough. And when you wash it, it gets better and softer. Kind of like flax linen and such. Oh wow, it is so splitty. I'm using my plain old boy hook and I'm chaining two in between because, you know, yes, this will scrub a dish. I'm not sure how long it'll last. A scrub, yeah, I keep on missing. <laughs> it's not because I'm talking. I can crochet and talk. I crochet in church. I crochet in everything. I can't pay attention without crocheting in my hands. That's my thing. But I am just doing, I did a chain two, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Oh, that's such a, they have a cat shelter. Oh, the animal shelter. Good morning. Good morning. I'm like, people, like, whoa. That is so cool, Judy. Oh my gosh. I want to make one of those cat couches for our cat because she's spoiled rotten. I talk about our cat on the live a lot. <laughs> just in case people are here just for the yarn, I don't want to like to like be completely boring. But she adopted us. And she's crazy. So last night, I just did my fourth set of two, three double crochets, chain two. I see my chickens dancing outside. Slip stitch into the top of the second chain of that first chain two and we've completed this is um this is not cotton this is hemp you use that cotton 
highly, highly recommend it. If you want something soft, me too, Taylor. <laughs> if you want something soft and wearable, go for like Hobby Lobby. I love this cotton or the new Mainstays cotton over at Walmart. And if you want something for an actual dishcloth, the Lily Sugar and Cream or any of those dishcloth looking cottons are fabulous. Baby blankets and the baby cocoon. Did you see my cocoon pattern? Let me know if you have any suggestions of what I should do with it next. So far I have the Hungry Caterpillar cocoon on here and I have the one that looks like a cactus succulent. I'm pretty proud of both of them. But I think the thing with things like that is that baby stuff's just hard not to be cute. Am I right? Oh, oh my gosh, all the baby kittens. So I slip stitched over so I could be into the next hole. So far, you know, it's working. I can't argue with it. Oh, did you? Was it the Lion Brand crochet or the Lion Brand recycled cotton? Oh, that's so good. Ooh, it is splitty as the splitty can be. I'm going to go ahead. Normally I don't do a chain in between clusters on the row, but I'm going to. Oh, thanks. I like yarn. But for the most part, I mean, this is totally reasonable. I mean, it's doable. It's hemp yarn. I think it's what it's supposed to be. And I've worked with flax and hemp in the past, and this is kind of just what it is. It doesn't spin like acrylic. It's not going to, you know? But it's still nice in its own right, and it's lovely to work with something sustainable, and it's gonna be a cool dishcloth. I'm only gonna make the granny like in the center for about four rows, then I'm gonna make it solid. Yeah, it is what it is. And that's what we're here for. I mean, if you wanted soft and cuddly and you went and got a hemp yarn, you're gonna be disappointed. But if you want a hemp yarn and you went and got this, I don't think you'd be disappointed. It's not bad. I'm just spoiled, I think. Me too. Because everything's relatable. Once you smoosh on this, the next time you crochet something really soft, you're going to be so appreciative. Am I right? I know people that make clothes out of linen and hemp for themselves to wear. And they're lovely. Very simple designs usually. And very muted colors, which is fabulous. And they last for a good long time if you care for them well. This says that you can machine wash... Um, and dry low. Oh, I'm going to undo that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> this is you can machine. Oh, nice to meet you. Hey, Esther. But this says you can machine wash, which is cool. And I would for a dishcloth. And it says you could dry it low, which is cool. I'm not sure. If it was a wearable, I surely would not. But I guess if it's a dishcloth, you might throw it through the dryer, at least now and again. I'm going to chain one before connecting to the first. I'm going to be slipping into that second chain of my original chain two. The reason it's not a chain three is because this has no elasticity. So if I do chain three, it's going to go whoop and down to that double crochet and that loop that it makes before that first double crochet, it's going to be there forever. Like a little gap. Can't stand it. I'd rather have it tug a little than have a gape. Yeah, I hear you, Judy. I hear you. Dishcloths, though, you know, it's hard not to with dishcloths. <laughs> I'm slipping over into the next corner and I'm starting another row of the granny square. I'm keeping it super loose because I don't know about you guys, but too much time crocheting tightly on something that doesn't stretch doesn't feel fab. That's my dog, Hunter. I peeked in here because Mr. Crochet, it is Earth Day. We're clearing the land 
And yesterday we look over and on the stump of one of the trees that we're clearing just outside of our fence were two of the healthiest looking coyotes ever. And they were on the stump, so they totally could have jumped right over the fence for our lovely lady chickens. And so he is chainsawing that stump today. He got a chainsaw suit. So I'm crocheting to distract. Oh, that's not good. But this is, you know, this is kind of what you're in to the natural fibers for. They have like, as far as like the other natural stuff is like, oh, this is the Lion Brand. I don't even know if this has, yeah, these have the sustainable label also. But they have like the True Boo Sparkle. It's super soft and silky. They know how to do a soft, silky, sustainable. This is not for that. This is for its earthy hemp-like quality, and that's awesome. So please don't think I'm picking on it. This is what it's supposed to be like. But if you are looking at it online, you want to know what it's like before you purchase, in my opinion. I know I do. I have a hard time pulling the trigger on orders online if I have never seen the yarn in person. I'm on a corner, so two clusters separated by a chain two. This will probably be my last row before I go to solid. I just like a nice open area in the middle and that way it's kind of scrubby. So what are you got? So we have a cat bed in the works. What are you guys working on? And have you gone yarn chopping lately? Ooh, that was a bad snag. And what are you drinking? <laughs> I'm doing some Irish breakfast and I'm off coffee for a couple hours now, but I wanted a little pick me up. So I'm doing some Irish breakfast. It's totally overcast and ugly outside. And I hear we're getting a ton of rain tomorrow. We're down in Texas. I don't think I've ever hopped on this time of day. We're probably going to get a bit of a ruckus. Oh, really? Lucky. I donated a bunch of acrylic to a thrift store the other day because I was not going to be able to get it on the shelves. And it was one of those things where I've had it for a while, so I knew I wasn't going to use it. So I'd rather, like, refresh the stash. I tried to use it, but I kept being drawn to other things. So some colors I just lose interest in. Some colors I get specifically for a character hat, and after I make it, I'll buy like five of them for that hat, and I'll use maybe two of them, and then I won't make that character anymore. Oh, do you like it? I just got the cubes yesterday. The husband and child have come back, so you're probably going to hear. Oh, hi. How's it going, Suzanne? You doing well? It's Earth Day. We're all on to say hey. I'm distracting myself from my husband playing with the chainsaw, personally. Oh, girl. Don't worry about just having a box. As long as you enjoy the yarn you have, you are fine. I'm not even sure how this happened. In every other facet of life, I'm a, what do you call it? I'm very minimal. Like we don't, we're not stuff people, but for some reason yarn. <laughs> I am now going to my solid portion. So every double crochet will get a single, will get a double crochet. And then in the corner, I'm going to do 
I think, hmm, three or two. I think I'm just gonna do two. I want this to grow, but not that fast. So I'm gonna do two double crochets, two chains, and two double crochets in each corner. I will try to put a picture in on the podcast this week of the husband's chainsaw outfit. It is terrifying. It is bright orange and there are these Kevlar pants. I guess chainsaws can't go through them, which is good. Not sure if I'm going to need a double crochet in the chain spaces. What do you think? Mm, I'm going to try it without. Nope, that's going to be too bulky. I'm going to do a double crochet in my chain spaces between. What do you guys think? How's it working up? I'm going to be really curious to see how it works up in double crochet without the spaces of the granny. So far, I mean, it's working up. It's not ugly. It's rough. You could definitely see some texture. It's kind of cool. I kind of want to dye it with some writ dye. Is that just, is that weird? So we'll do two rows and then we'll take a peek at it. Aw, uh, thank you, Judy. Oh, so my coyotes. They were massive. I had no idea that they would be this close. They could have cared less. We're all, on, I'm on the live, honey. Love you. All I heard was, oh shoot, I'm scared. <laughs> we'll deal with that later. But I'm loving this so far. We got off to a rough start, but the double crochet in every stitch feels a lot nicer. Little snag. Spoke too soon. And I'm not going through it nearly as fast as I thought I would. I kind of thought, you know, some projects you start some yarn and you do barely anything at all and the yarn is just practically gone. I'm not getting that feeling at all, which is really nice. This yarn was $4.99, I believe so. Let me double check. I want to know when Alexa is going to tell me yarn prices. Like I just ask her how much a certain kind of yarn is and she just tells me. That was my hand dog. Ooh. Okay. Okay. It was eight dollars. Well then. No. <laughs> it was right by the um the Kobu. And I think I kind of thought I paid five dollars. Plus I had a 30% off coupon this week. So that wasn't bad. But I'm surprised to hear it was eight dollars. But I guess hemp is a pricier fiber. Have any of you guys ever ordered off of Lion Brand's website? I haven't done it yet because they also have Lion Brand, like the company, sells on Amazon. Hi, Dixie. Also sells on Amazon. So I always end up doing it that way. I've never actually gotten a box from Lion Brand directly that I know of. My dog wants some attention. She's fine though. Lots of food, lots of water. She's just very social. I might have to let her in in a second. Ooh, big mess. And I'm liking it solid. That's kind of fun. The repetitive stitch, I'm gonna let her in. Do you want to? Hi, sweetie. Coming in? Okay. Bye. 
yes amazon yarn prices are a little crazy sorry about that she didn't want in she wanted her brother who was in so <laughs> they're going to go destroy something together but yeah they are really they can be i mean not always like if i remember correctly the lion brands prices like if you go to lion brand their prices are the same if i remember correctly i'm gonna reopen it just to make sure like show me the amazon like what's the just hemp yarn at amazon i want to see if it's also the same prices joann's Don't try to order hemp from Amazon. Put in Lion Brand. <laughs> there we go. Okay, just hemp from Amazon is eight ninety nine. So it does cost an additional dollar, but zero shipping. So that so that would be like um, is it zero shipping? I want to see it. It says Prime. Does that mean zero shipping? Do you guys know? It looks like it's zero shipping. But yeah, so about $8.99 versus, but you don't get a coupon. So I would not tend to I'm very frugal I would not tend to buy any yarn that is not on sale um, <laughs> I time things so that I can get on sale yarn because I don't know the last time I paid full price for yarn I made a big Hirschner's order a little while back but I ended up getting a really good coupon on that mmm Ooh, really? You know, Judy. There you go. Oh, am I back? Sorry about that. <laughs> I had a little boop. But I was looking and the girl was looking around and she was doing her best. But she was asking me where the, um, oh, I believe that too, Judy. <laughs> But um, she was looking for Lion Mint Ice Cream. And I, <laughs> um, and she's like, I need the Lion Yarn. And I'm like, so much of this yarn here at Joann's is Lion. I'm like, you're going to have to do a little bit. And she was like, and I'm like, the ice cream yarn? So I found the Lion Ice Cream Yarn. I'm like, what color? And she wanted the mint color. So somehow she turned that into Lion Mint Ice Cream. And I'm like, okay, I could see how they did that, but she was not going to be able to find that. I took her to it, and we were really, really close to it. But yeah, I think that's actually the job that's made for me. Like, I can find the yarn. You know what I mean? <laughs> I've always said I could never work at a craft shop. Yeah. Oh. I'm waiting, Esther. Oh my gosh. That was open-ended. Oh no. Oh no. It went away, Esther. Esther was saying something. You know what I want to order on Amazon, but I'm waiting. I don't even know what I'm waiting for, but it's Alize yarn. It, they've got a bunch. Hi, Gail. How's it going? I am just reviewing Lion Just Hemp Yarn while my husband plays with the chainsaw outside and my dogs bark. How are you doing? I heard that. <laughs> I'm slip stitching into the top of the chain two that I made of the previous row and chaining two for height. No, not at all. Oh my gosh, I buy so much from Amazon. Not ten I don't tend to buy yarn from Amazon, but I buy like everything else. 
I like everything else. But yesterday I was at Walmart and making a, sorry about that. I hope that wasn't loud. Oh, totally yarn coupons. Totally yarn coupons. <laughs> and um, I have the apps and everything. Oh, it's true. It's the best place to meet ple meet people, the yarn aisle. Um, everybody always jokes like that if you're at a yarn sale, there's like competition and stuff. Like I've never heard anybody like fight with anybody at a yarn section. Um, sometimes here in Texas, people are a little to themselves about it. I'm more of a social, as you can see, I'm more of a social yarner. So I'm like, oh my gosh, what are you making? And people are all like, you know. <laughs> I got these yesterday over at Walmart to make towel toppers for. This one's going to be for one of my um, Cinco de Mayo things. Oh, is that glittery? No, it's just part of the weight. But um, it's for my Cinco de Mayo because it says Siesta Fiesta Repeat. So I'm going to make a towel topper in like some Cinco de Mayo colors. Oh my gosh, right? We have a... Over here in Texas, we have what is the largest yarn store in the tri-state area. And it was called, ooh, I think it's called Yarn I Love or Yarn For You or something now, but it was called Fiber Circle when we first moved here. Aren't they awesome? Beautiful towels. And they aren't the kind that um, fall apart too much when you cut them. So I think if my needle goes through it well, I will go ahead and do it. First I'll do a little, do I have a thing? Because you kind of have to have the needle go through it well. My dog is having a field day. Now this is not any kind of a yarn needle, but I can use something, like something matchy in a mercerized. Hunter, no, no. Oh, that is such a good idea. Oh yeah, this goes through like butter. Okay, cool. Some fabrics, the needle doesn't go through really well. The microfiber kind of snags it, but this is less grabby microfiber. And I'm really excited about them. I hear you, Judy. I hear you. Um, oh, it's a good place. Have you done any de-stash places? Like some de-stashes can be expensive too, but there's de-stashes on Facebook and there's de-stashes other places. And aside from that, I, I got a lot of bulk just keeping an eye out for Hobby Lobby and Walmart's, um, not discontinued, but their clearances. Oh my gosh. Oh, are you? You were working on those yesterday too, weren't you, Taylor? Am I am I making things up now? Um, I remember you were saying, I think you said you chop off the top and then crochet the two sides together. Am I I'm trying to be clear about them? A, a lot happens in a day when your husband's playing with a chainsaw. But these are really nice. Like this is just the Mainstays brand, but it feels just like this other one and it's the Cuisinart band. Um, so, I think I usually get the mainstays kind, but I splurge for this because it's for my Cinco de Mayo. I didn't see a bunch of others that were Cinco de Mayo braid, like based, and I'm all excited. We're big on Cinco de Mayo, but yeah, it looks really pretty. That's the way to do it, Judy. How are the thrift stores for you? Here in Texas, they're not fabulous. We just don't have a bunch, but this is really nice. The Cuisinart brand, I think it was $3 and this one was like, gosh, I think this was like a dollar. Um, I like this cause we have a ton of turquoise in the house and this one probably, oh, I'm gonna go through this too. Yeah, love the towels. This one does catch a little bit, but not bad. It won't have any issue, but you get a good needle for it and then you just go through with some thread and then you can crochet right into them yeah i found that too which is weird it must go fast in california a little bit more in texas hardly at all i'm thinking it does get donated just probably doesn't move as fast or it moves fast I remember the very first time I was thrifting and I found yarn 
I was beside myself. It was like one of those things that I never even considered happening. Every corner is getting two double crochets, a chain two and two double crochets. That's where I donate mine to also. It's the stuff, if I can't send it to a nursing home, because a lot of times they'll have Yarny programs at nursing homes and they'll use it for donations, which is fabulous. Or I'll donate it straight to Goodwill if I think that they wouldn't really be interested in it. Like my acrylics and stuff and things like that, or if there's open balls of yarn and such, then I'll usually straight to Goodwill. Because I know they put those in bags and sell it in bulk. And that's fabulous. Yeah, totally, Judy. And if there's not there, there might be next week. You know what we're getting this week is an Ollie's. Do you guys have an Ollie's? I hear they have yarn. There was yarn in the ad. It opens in a few days. And the ad they sent out to introduce themselves had yarn. I'm like, okay. Super excited. Ooh, and they do have yarn at the dollar store lately, Dollar Tree. I did a little Dollar Tree haul of the yarn a couple weeks back. Oh, that's wonderful, Judy. Scarves are work. I think people underestimate the scarves. They're work. Scarves are beefy. But I'm liking the yarn. We're gonna see how it behaves through a wash. I might weigh this with you guys before I go and see if I could make two of these out of one ball of yarn. Cause maybe we're getting there. It's not a huge dish dishcloth, but it's great for a scrubby and a quick dry. And if you wanted to make it bigger from one ball, you definitely could. But now that I found out it's $8, suddenly I want two dishcloths out of it. Is that just, is that crazy? <laughs> I'm stingy. But it was on an end cap and they had all of the co-boos and the true boos and everything and they had this sparkle true boo and then on the very top they had the just hemp here so I was just throwing everything in the cart oh that's weird I'm sorry to hear that well, you can always join a Facebook group of crochet makers that share almost as good. Most groups are a little quiet right now as it is, so you'd be on the same footing as everybody else. But Facebook has some great maker groups. I'm in several. I have a group. I need to do more with it. Bye, Suzanne. You have a great day. I'll see you next time. So we are going to go through this yarn in just a sec. I'm almost to the end of my row. I keep on wanting to hurry, but no, not at all. Getting there.
Well, we are almost at the end of our trip here. I'm trying to think of whether or not I need a single crochet around it. I think I'm going to let the weighing decide that because if I can get two dishcloths out of this, I will. Can you guys hear? Oh, you take good care, Judy. Can you guys hear our chainsaw in the back? Slip stitching into the top of the second chain of the first ones of the row. Let's grab our scale. I believe it's right here. There we go. Love this thing. Great for mailing too. There we go, grams. So this part weighs 61 grams and our dishcloth so far is 37. Oh good, I'm glad Taylor. So I'm thinking if this is 37 grams, <laughs> and this is 61. I can do a single crochet edging before I call it and still get two just fine. And I would go ahead and before anything gets crazy, because this is PC as good as anything, I'm going to weave in the tail in the center around the edge of the circle a few times. So just to make sure it doesn't come undone because it wants to so badly. How is everybody's weather this Earth Day? How crazy is this? Rain this time of year? I mean, we always get rain in April, but it's so dreary. And after that cold last week, Okay, so I weaved in the center just to make sure it's tidy and doesn't come apart on me. And I'm going to do a single crochet around the edge. Should be quick, but that's what I thought about the double crochet. Yeah, this is going to give it a lot more structure. Awesome. I'm not going to do any increases, just two single crochets in the corner. sunshine in New Jersey. That's awesome. I'll trade you. But I guess it's nice. He doesn't have to do all of that yard stuff in the heat. So he's got a little break from that. But supposedly tomorrow at 7 a.m. we're going to get rain and it's just going to rain until like 2 a.m. tomorrow. All day long. We'll see how that goes. You know how the weather reports can be. This is so nice. Now that it's almost over, I like it. So I guess it's one of those things that's worth the work, even though it's a little bit of a struggle right off the bat. I have like this loop that has slowly built up. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna try and work it into my project because it's this little loop right here and it's slowly getting bigger and bigger. Not sure what's up with that. There we go. We'll crochet loosely and see if we can work over it a little bit. <laughs> One strand, just a little bigger than the rest. There we go. Not sure how many strands are in this. Looks like. One, two, three, four, five, six strands. Uh oh. <coughs> Excuse me.
Now you guys got me wanting to make a baby cocoon. Uh oh. Almost all the way around, I think. Getting there. This wouldn't make an unattractive top. The more I'm looking at it. It's very minimalist, I like it. I like wearing gray. But the other colors they had, the mustard, I don't know if I could pull that off. PC, there we go. Take care, Esther, have a good one. How nice, sunshine. It's definitely, the single crochet edge is definitely pulling it all together nicely. It's improving it greatly for me. I'm glad we had enough to do that and I would have enough to make one that matches. Okay, on the last one, I'm going to slip stitch into the first single crochet of the row, fasten off, Let's take a peek. Alrighty, let's analyze this, shall we? Okay, so here's our finished project. Still rough. But nice, feels strong. It didn't break at any point, which is nice because hemp can break. And so far, not so much. This took only half of the ball. Let's remeasure. Just in case. So 54. And 44. Awesome. So I could totally make two. Very excited about that. Is it drapey? Yes. If you're looking for a wearable and you don't mind the thickness of this, totally, totally drapey. Is it shiny? It has very bare minimum shine going on. Might be catching the light over here, but that's a really bright light over there. It's more of a shadow situation than a shine, but it's a very matte reflection. I like it very much. So far, it's really awesome. I mean, for hemp, it's an awesome situation. The colors are nice. They didn't have a lot of colors. They're all very muted, which is nice this time of year. It'll be great for spring if you just want to make something really quick. If you are looking for dishcloths, perfect. You'll probably find something that can fit in your collection. No big issues that are glaring. It's just a lot of really natural looking colors. Does anybody have any questions about it? Any suggestions? love the way it worked out. Super, super awesome. I was not expecting it to work up this well. When I actually, I thought it would work up great. Then when I started using it, I did not. And all the way up to the second, the double crochets here, but this single crochet made it for me. So, and it didn't take long at all. So highly suggest if you can get your hands on some, go for it. Well, Thank you so much for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down below. I'll jump on those as soon as I see them. You have a great day. Please subscribe and click the button so that, or the bell, <laughs> so that you'll be notified of my lives. I also do yarn tutorials and reviews and what's the other thing? Oh, the live yarn parties. I will see you next time. Take good care.